What's up guys? We've got a few more days till Dread Awakenings and I'm breaking down deck lists for all of the new gods, showing you guys some of the awesome new cards, doing two gods per video. So this is part two. You can go check out part one. There's a link in the description. And all of the deck lists mentioned are linked in the description as well. So let's dive into the next two gods. So the next two gods, we've got Nature and Light. Nature has gained the ability to mutate their spells with a mutation card, allowing them to get highly powerful spells inexpensively. Control Nature is strengthened by a new suite of interaction and recovery cards, bringing it back to the forefront. And Light gains new support for the Chosen One with the terrifying Illarak and Theriel's Lustric Cult expands onwards as more and more fain... Fainarians, Fainarians, Fainarians flock to his banner. So this might be the coolest deck uh, from the new set. It's pretty crazy. We've got a bunch of wilds, which are going to be very in vogue. So old cards that used to be the best in the game, like Underbrush Boar, are going to be very awesome again because we love wilds. And in this particular iteration of the deck, we have Mistreth Scythia which has been a useless Genesis legendary all these years because it just basically destroys your deck and it's terrible. But here we actually want to destroy the deck. And why? It's because that which feeds us is going to be the rock star of this deck. I love the art of this card. I love this card. I can't wait to try it. It has Blitz and Twin Strike for four mana. It's a 2-2 two, two wild. However, with Dread Touched, gain the sacrificed creature's strength and health, then shuffle a copy of this into your deck. Dread Touched means you sacrifice a card in order to gain this effect as a roar. So basically you sacrifice, let's say, a 2-2 two, two or whatever. Now this becomes a 4-4, four, four, plus you then shuffle the 4-4 four, four into your deck. Then if you do it again, and then you kill another 2-2 two, two with it, and now it becomes a 6-6. Six, six. This thing can just spiral out of control. And if you obliterate your entire deck except for a couple cards, uh, well, that means you can keep drawing it and you can keep making it bigger and bigger. And then you give it overkill with Firewine once it's very, very large and you basically just win the game with it. We've also got new cards like Dread Deer, which has regen one. It's a two five. That's pretty insane. Dread Touch gain plus two strength and attack all enemy creatures. A three mana um, potential board wipe here with regen, uh, pretty insane. It would be a 4-5 if you sack like a badger, and it just attacks all enemy creatures, and then it regens. So, I mean, if it survives, awesome. If not, it's a 3-mana board wipe. We've got Crawling Madness, which is absolutely bonkers. You summon 3-1-1 one, one ants. Here's an ant. And they attack random enemy creatures. However, if you dread touch it, First, give them afterlife, summon a 1-1 one, one ant with blitz. So basically, you're summoning six 1-1 one, one ants. That's kind of doing six random damage, which is very much like the hunt. The hunt is a six mana card. This is a three mana card. Big difference there. Now, you can also make this even crazier if you first use Hunter's Guide, which, after a friendly wild is summoned from anywhere other than your hand, give it blitz and plus one strength. So I believe they would then all come down as two ones and uh, do 12 damage, which would be pretty insane. We've also got new cards like Raid Swarm, deal two damage to an enemy creature. If it survives, summon two one one ants with Blitz. So basically a two mana deal four, because you get to deal two to it. And then if it survives, you can do two extra as well. We've got Regression Trans. This card seems absolutely insane to me. Regression is two mana transform each enemy creature with into a random creature with one less mana cost. Dread touched, two less instead. Your opponent's got a bunch of three mana creatures on the board. This turns them all into like one mana. If they have two mana or less, that turns them into like a badger or or a wisp or something. Or something that's a zero, one, a snow thing, whatever. It basically wipes your opponent's board for two mana. It's pretty insane. It is not symmetrical. It doesn't touch your creatures. I can't wait to see this one in play because it seems absolutely bonkers. And then Path of Nature here, we've got Delve a Wild from your deck and draw it. This is going to help find the uh, that which feeds us. And then Dread Touch to add the strength and health of the sacrificed creature to the drawn wild. So you can already start off your that which feeds us with a little bit of an extra boost as well. Very cool. Love this deck. Can't wait to give it a try. And then we've got Light which uh, is going to kind of center around both the Chosen One and the Cultists. So we're going to bring back some uh, Chosen One stuff here. And Illarak is kind of the rock star maybe meme, maybe awesome card here. At the start of the game, this becomes the Chosen One automatically. 
Roar, if this has 10 or more health, set your opponent's god's max health to 10. That's crazy. If they're still at 30, this suddenly just does 20 damage to them as soon as you hit 10 health with Illarak. So how do you get Illarak to be 10 health? It's not too hard, as the Chosen One can get buffed by a lot of other cards. You have Forged in the Light, which changes your god power into a give plus two plus one to the chosen one now of course you'd have to hit this 10 times which is quite a bit but you've also got all kinds of other things like these new cards here we've got roar give the chosen one plus one plus one dread touch gain plus one plus one as well we have the very cool fist of dread deal the chosen one's strength as damage to a creature light and luster seems absolutely insane we've got set each creature's health to one and then empower four Deal one damage to each creature. So this is a board wipe for light. Light has never had a, a real, real board wipe that actually kills everything very easily uh, and effectively like this. This is really nasty. We have the Lustric Punisher, which at the end of your turn, give the Chosen One plus two, plus two. That is pretty sick. He's getting close to 10 now. We've got Soldier of Tartar Tartus. Tartar sauce, we've got Echo Frontline, give plus one, plus two to the chosen one, and to move it three places higher in your deck. That plus two, I'm uh, gonna make him even bigger. He's getting real close to 10 at this point. We've got Corrupted Angel, Frontline Leech, gain the strength and health of the chosen one. So if you've been pumping your chosen one diligently, this is probably at least a five, five with Frontline and Leech. Uh, could be even way bigger if you've done quite a good job of pumping your chosen one. And by six mana, hopefully this will at least be a 5-5. Five five. Right, that's it for this one. Stay tuned for the final installment before the new set drops where we go over the final two gods. We've got War and Deception coming up. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you soon.